Today is the day. Hey you, can I learn your flavor? It's brand new. Now it's in the paper. Today is the day that I get my tattoo. So just to be clear, I am 18. I've been 18 for like six months now. I've just been pushing it off so much and I just thought, okay, that's it. I'm getting it. Like I literally just made this decision yesterday. I was like, uh... I kind of want to get my tattoo tomorrow, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I know what you guys are thinking, it's a tattoo, very permanent, forever. But I've been wanting a tattoo for like three years, and I've been wanting this specific tattoo for like one and a half years. So yes, I'm very sure of my tattoo, I'm all for it. I'm not going to change my mind. I understand that when I get older, it'll still be there, and I'm okay with that, so... Yeah, my tattoo will be on my right ankle. I've heard from a lot of people that that is a very painful area to get tattoos. And considering that this is my first time, let's just hope that I don't cry. But it's honestly super tiny. It's like the size of a quarter and there's no shading or filling in. So it shouldn't take that long. But yeah, I'm gonna vlog it for you guys. And let's just hope that everything goes well and it turns out the way I want it to. Yeah, we're just gonna get their reactions. My brother's taking me to go get it done, so. Yeah, you guys will get to see my brother in my vlog. Which one is it? That house? <laughs> okay, so I asked the person if we could film and he was like, uh, normally we don't let people film in here. And then I was like, okay, I don't wanna push it. It's whatever, it's not really a big deal. So I'm really sorry guys, but I couldn't film me actually getting the tattoo, but I'll tell you about my experience. I walked in and I was really nervous because usually I don't get scared for things unless it actually hits me. And it didn't hit me until I walked in and hearing other people getting their tattoos done, seeing on the wall pictures of people who got their tattoos done there, like, yeah, then it started hitting me and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Like, I feel like it's gonna hurt so bad. So I signed a few papers and then I gave them the picture. This is the picture that I showed them. And then he drew out a sample and then he put it on my, he put it on my ankle where I wanted it to get done. And then I looked in the mirror to see if I liked the way it looked. So I went in and I lay down on my side and then he said that since it's my first time, he's just gonna do one line first just to see how it feels for me. And he did it. And honestly, when they first start doing it, you can't feel it. And then like a jolt of pain just comes, but it doesn't really hurt that much. Like you can feel it and you can feel the needle going through you, but it doesn't hurt. It feels painful, but it's not painful. I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like if a cat scratched you. So I was like, okay, that didn't hurt at all. So he continued to do the whole thing. It didn't hurt and it went by really quick. It was like. 15 minutes and then I took a picture of it so this is how it came out or this is how it looked like when it was first done I loved it so much I looked in the mirror and I just fell in love I was so happy that I did it I was so happy that I was able to overcome my fear of how painful it would be because now I know that it's not that painful yeah so I sent a picture of it to my boyfriend and he was freaking out because he didn't know I was there he didn't know I was getting it done sent it to my mom she really liked it so I went to church this morning with my boyfriend's family and I asked him I was like how are they gonna react if they see my tattoo and he just said eh, just don't tell them about it but if they see it just like be cool about it and his mom actually noticed it she was like oh you got a tattoo and I I was like yeah like it's a little snail and she was like oh so cute and I was like oh my gosh like she noticed it so fast my dad still hasn't seen it so I think I saw him on Saturday but he didn't see my tattoo I can't go around my dogs because the fur and their saliva it could cause an infection to my tattoo so I can't be around them for like two weeks so that's really sad and then I have to apply lotion to my tattoo like three to five times a day they told me that the best one is a vino, so I have a vino for it. Oh, oh, I haven't even showed you guys. Okay, so here it is. You can even see it. Here it is. It is dark, and it doesn't look that pretty right now because, you know, it's in the process of peeling. But here's what it looks like. I'll do a better angle down here. There it is. My little snail. Yeah, I have no regrets. I love it so much. I am so happy I finally got it. I've been wanting it for so long. 
But yeah, um, this was gonna be a vlog for the process of me getting my tattoo, but I guess this is just a video of me telling you I got one because I didn't get the footage of me actually getting it. But that's okay, I mean, I feel like if I was being recorded, I would have been way more nervous. Basically, I was like this. It would have been a really bad angle. But basically my reaction was like, I was just like super chill. I was just talking to my brother the whole time. But yeah, if you've been wanting to get a tattoo for a while, but you're scared that it's gonna be painful, getting my eyebrows threaded is way more painful than getting this tattoo. Like if you're getting a small one like this, getting my tattoo was like a piece of cake. I was able to relax and I was able to forget about the pain if I was like having a conversation with my brother or the guy that was doing it, so. Obviously if you're getting a bigger tattoo with shading and everything, I can't give my opinion for that because I, I don't know how painful that is, but all right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. You take your time, there's something about the love that things you like.